Welcome back, Rush Limbaugh, serving humanity each and every day just by being here at the Limbaugh Institute for Advanced Conservative and Anti-Leftist and Anti-Media Studies. The uh, the left today, the drive-by media and the Democrats are beyond themselves. Uh, Jeffrey Tubin on CNN was unable to put together a sentence. He had to turn it back over to the CNN host while he composed himself over the fact that Trump, he did a little press gaggle before leaving for Davos. And it's when he's, yeah, I'll talk to, I'll talk to Mueller. I'll go under oath. There's no collusion. Nothing happened. I'll be glad to talk to him. And he had some other choice things to say about the investigation. And the drive-bys can't believe it. They simply, they can't believe that Trump would talk this way. They can't believe that Trump thinks he's innocent. They can't believe that Trump thinks he didn't do anything. And that he's out there saying this. They can't believe that Trump would admit to going under oath. They can't, and they're just, they, they, this has never been done before. Somebody attacking the prosecutor this way. I guess they've forgotten how they would all went after uh, Ken Starr. But it, 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 the way Trump, gets to these people is is just it's delicious no matter how much time goes by no no matter what they can't accommodate trump being alive in washington dc as president of the united states they just can't accept it now they get up every day hoping that that day is the day for some kind of smoking gun news that's going to send trump packing the added second half of that dream is that they individually are going to be the people that find that smoking gun news that's going to send Trump packing. And instead, not only is Trump not going anywhere, the special counsel's investigation apparently hadn't been able to find anything on this bogus collusion with Russia story. Trump is prospering. He is triumphing. He's getting his way. Now, I mentioned earlier in the busy broadcast that Jeffrey Tubin was so flustered by a Trump remark that he could not complete an interview on CNN. He had to turn it back to the host Wolf Blitzer to recompose himself. I want to play this for you. This is in result or in response. You know, Trump had an audio only uh, press gaggle before leaving for Davos. And it was in this press gaggle. I'll talk to Mueller. I'll go under oath. I don't care. I didn't do anything. There wasn't any collusion. There hasn't been any, there hasn't been any obstruction. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to Mueller. I'll do anything. But he said some other things too. And among those other things was a reference to Andrew McCabe, number two at the FBI. And this just this just sent Tubin and many of the media into orbit in anger. It sounds like number 20. Here is Trump talking about McCabe. McCabe got more than $500,000 from essentially Hillary Clinton. And is he investigating Hillary Clinton? So should he go? Do you remember, did anybody hear many of my speeches where I talked about McCabe? He was the star of my speech. This isn't now. The wife got $500,000. I mean, Do you regret having him as your acting FBI director then? You know what? I keep out of it. You'd find that hard to believe. That's the way it fell. He's been there. Did you ask much did you ask for? I don't think so. No. You don't think you No, did. I don't think I did. You don't. I don't know what's the big deal with that. Who did you vote for? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's a big deal. You know, I saw that this morning. I don't remember asking him that question. Is it possible you did? I think it's also a very unimportant question. Is it possible you did? Did you ask him who he, who he voted for? That was another story. Did you ask McCabe who he voted for? As though you can't do that. You can't ask the FBI guy how he voted. The press is desperate. Trump says, I don't think I did that. Uh, I don't think I did. I don't know what's the big deal about it. Uh, who'd you vote for? He's asking the media. I think it's a big deal. And then the reporterette says, is it possible you did? Is it possible you did? Trump said it's a very unimportant question. So it's that that formed the basis of Jeffrey Tubin trying to explain this and react to it later on CNN. The excerpt is really pretty remarkable for the number of inaccuracies, conspiracy mongerings, and outright just strangeness. Uh, I mean, first of all, um, the, the Hillary did not give any money 
to uh, to uh, 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 McCabe's wife when she ran for the state senate in Virginia. It was Terry. It was Terry McDonald. Terry uh, McAuliffe. Uh, McConnell, who is McAuliffe. the governor. Uh, McAuliffe. I'm sorry, M McAuliffe, who's the governor of of Virginia, who is yes, he's a friend of the Clintons, but he obviously is very much involved in Virginia politics and would have every reason to support a Democrat in, in that seat. Um, the the. the I'm, I'm trying to keep track of, of, of all, all, all the things he said. I mean, there was not any. Um, gosh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I lost my uh, I lost my train of thought in there. But come back to me on this, and I will. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll fill you in further. It, it, it could not keep. It just it was so flustered and and so so unbelieving the way Trump was acting and what he was saying and how he's behaving. And Tubin couldn't believe it. He couldn't believe Trump was saying this kind of stuff, and he lost his train of thought trying to stay mad about it. So he had to punt and ask Wolf Blitzer to come back to him later. I have to take a break, but only because I really do. Be right back. Don't go away.